What's up guys? On this Shoki Quickie, we're looking at more World of Nintendo figures. I know, a while back I said it'd be the last ones we saw for a while, but you know what? I found more. <laughs> if you saw my Toy Hall review, you did get to see these guys already, and it is awesome. We got the Shy Guy, finally, and we have the Red Toad over here, or the Toad Rouge. Now, I never did get an answer, roughly, as this, is this supposed to be Maskash? Maskash? Maskake? Maskache? <laughs> I have no idea. It's just a funny, funny version of his name. And uh, I know normally I would, you know, tame it up, good guy, bad guy, whatever. These are just the last few from the Mario games that I have. Everything else that I picked up recently, they go together. So, these poor guys, they just get to be, you know, as they are. So, let's go ahead and take a look at Shy Guy's packaging real quick. Of course, you get the World of Nintendo. This is the 1-1 one, one series. So, this is the last of the 1-1 one, one series that I needed. Um, well, that, that and Dixie Kong, but uh, future review. <laughs> of course, you can see the Shy Guy right up inside there. Shy Guy, Maskashi, Maskeki, Maskakni, ages 3+. plus. Hey, I'm right in the middle of that. All right. Oh, hold on. Wait. Hey, it includes a shy guy figure. Huh? How about that? All right. Super Mario logo there. Jack's logo there. Jack's Pacific. I said it. Okay. Jack's Pacific. Anyways, come to the back. Let's go ahead and go World of Nintendo. Little shy guy image right there. Let's go ahead and read up on this guy. Let's see what it is. A character in a white mask with black eyes and mouth appear in a number of Mario and Yoshi games. Although shy guy's actions are varied from flying to carrying objects, their true faces are still a mystery. Hmm. I bet it's just a toad. Actually, you know, it's probably a Kirby. <laughs> it looks a lot like Kirby. That's kind of funny. And of course, like I said, down here... I think this had to have been like the Walgreens version or something because it only has all these 8-bits that are mostly Walgreens exclusives to begin with. So you guys know I have all of the 8-bit figures. I have the Piranha Plant. I have Skull Kid. Now we got Shy Guy. Dixie Kong will be coming up eventually. So I finally completed at least this version of Series 1-1 with the purchase of this guy. So let's set him down. We'll take a look at a little bitty Red Toad. So, obviously, you got Toad right there looking very happy. Yay! Or, I forgot how a Toad sounds. I can't do the Toad voice. All right, it's Series 2, 4. Of course, World of Nintendo, Mario, because Mario has to hog all of the uh, packaging. It can't, can't possibly be uh, any of the figures. And, you know, it, it can't just be that it's easier to make one background, you know. It, it's got to be that Mario just is that selfish and has to have all the attention. So, you got... Red Toad, Toad Rouge, ages 3 plus. Hey, I'm right in the middle of that. Here it includes a one, two and a half inch figure. So, like I said, after you get past like the first real wave, they stop saying that it includes that. So, they just want to make this all the same bottom here. It's so dumb. Just tell me it's got one Red Toad in it. I want it to say that. So, Super Mario down here, Jack's Pacific logo right there. Come to Zebek. You've got the Red Toad. One of the servants of Peach's cast, uh, castle in the Mushroom Kingdom. Toads give off a strong sense of peace. Most feature white heads, red polka dots, but there are other colors as well. Toad's incredible uprooting speed is unrivaled, adding to the rumor of his inhuman strength. So that's, of course, you know, alluding to a lot of his different games. And, you know, there could be many different variants of this guy. Uh, so far, this is the only one I've seen ever in store so I had to grit him you know and I do have quite a few of these so I've got the bone piranha plant I've got ice mario now red toad bob omb and blooper I did see green squid and orange squid in store along with the blue pikmin and kk slider but I have no real interest in the animal crossing figures um maybe here in a couple weeks I might actually go ahead and get all of the pikmin since they've got like five pikmin variants and of course Olimar, I might get them just for the fun of it because there's enough of them now that it would look like the game where you could be surrounded by all the little Pikmin. But that's it for packaging guys. So let's go ahead and open up these little guys and see what they're all about. All right guys, here we have Shy Guy and Little Red Toad out of the packaging. 
And honestly, these guys are really cool. Like, I, I love the details on these figures. You guys know I do. Especially when the Mario ones, they seem to really kind of step it up a little bit and really get those details in there. Um, going with uh, Shy Guy first here. I do believe the first time we ever saw Shy Guy was in Mario 2. The really, I guess, kind of off-the-wall Mario. You know, I think that was pretty much one of the main em enemies wandering around. There wasn't any Goombas or anything like that because, of course, it was a very different kind of world and everything like that. So I think that's the very first time we saw Shy Guy. I'm sure somebody will look it up and make a long, long comment about it. So, <laughs> anyways, so... He just looks cool. He's got kind of a creepy thing going on there. Kind of the constantly surprised face. You know, it, it's a little weird. It is. But I like that. You do get his little red kind of hood, jacket, whatever you want to talk about. A little bloop back here. Maybe he's, uh, maybe he's actually Deadpool inside. Maybe that's who they really are. Anyways. So, you can actually get the little belt there with the actual belt buckle painted on. That's pretty cool. I actually like that. And he's got very, very Mario-esque feet. I have a feeling like those are the exact same mold as any of the Mario feet. I bet. And they just borrow that. That's pretty neat. I like that. It's blue and you got a little bit of sole on the bottom. He does have a tiny bit of articulation as they usually do. Come on, focus. I think it's having a hard time focusing on that mask. Anyways, so his arms do move like so. And then you knock Toad over in the background. So now he can just point in that direction, like he's over there. He's that. Where did he go? Over there? Yep, over there. Okay. So now he's just voguing, sort of. Wee! Now he's surprised. All right. <laughs> go over there, shy guy. You're a bad guy. Go away. You just misunderstood. No, he's a bad guy. All right, now we get to the little itty-bitty toad. Now, there is a significant weight difference between this guy and this guy. This feels like a brick. Like, this feels like solid plastic. I have a feeling toad here is almost entirely hollow. His head feels like a ping-pong ball. It's crazy. Like, the body is probably very solid, but this head is empty. Which is funny, because toads probably aren't the smartest thing in the world. Sad. Sorry. But I love the fact, you know, toad... You know, Toad was in the first game, but you didn't really get to see or do anything with him. He was just always there to annoy you at the end. Uh, in Super Mario 2, once again, you got to play as Toad. And he actually kind of had some cool features. But I love the fact, you know, he's got kind of this uh, genie sort of look going on. You know, he's got his vest over here with the yellow around it. Basically wearing what looks like a diaper, but it's not. It's just pants. He just happens to wear them up to his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> very simplistic face, just a couple dot eyes and very happy mouth. It's not painted that well, but honestly, I already know how hard it is to paint inside a an orifice like that and not get slop everywhere. It happens, guys. Get over it. And then, of course, you get the nice little mushroom cap head. Now, I can't recall... Oops, I'm sorry. I do believe that uh, Matt Pat did a video on the toads and stuff like that and how they're actually like... They're mushroom people, like, realistically. They could be totally, like, poisonous and all that noise and stuff like that. It's a funny video. If I can find it, I'll link it in the description. But, yeah. He does actually get a tiny bit of articulation. you got to be real careful with these little bitty baby arms. Like, these things have such a tiny, tiny peg holding them in. you got to be very, very careful. Because you can see it's just, you know, he's just always expressive. He's either very happy about something or he's playing like an airplane. Yay! Either way, he's pretty cool. I like it. And the head does rotate. You do get some head rotation. I believe he can go fully all the way around like he's possessed. So, that's pretty neat. I do like it. And, of course, he does have his little little brown booties. Yay for that. So, that's going to be it. Oh, I did forget to mention, he does not like to stand. I'm going to be real careful. There we go. So that's going to be it for this Shoki Quickie. And, of course, you guys know I love these World of Nintendo figures. Now, I did say in the uh, Toy Hall review, I will be making a custom kind of setup for all my Nintendo guys. Because um, I have them all up on the wall, just right up here, as you guys have seen before. Um, I need to display them a little bit better and kind of organize it, and that's what I'm going to do. That'll be a project I take care of here really, really soon, and I will do a video on it. So, thanks for watching the videos, guys. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check out all the other uh, World of Nintendo reviews. There are quite a few, guys, because as soon as I found these, I just fell in love. So, 
Hope you guys have a good day, and I'll catch you next time. Remember, as always, keep on nerding.